this is where the strip starts, more or less at Mandalay Bay. I think they're where the old hacienda used to be. This is going to be a video of the Las Vegas Strip from Mandalay Bay to Fremont Street. Coming up on the Luxor here. Bay Road. Some construction equipment. Probably heading downtown. Vegas Boulevard. Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard. Probably at one time the crossroads of the strip. Still is a very busy intersection. Tropicana takes you down to the airport. Statue of Liberty and the roller coaster. This road always hangs up. Cirque du Soleil, Zumanity, Celine Dion, Carrot Top, LL Cool J, Extremely Long Life, February the 7th 
at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Construction going on here, always is. Paris in the Aladdin. In Bellagio. Major construction going on there. Davidson. Harley Davidson is kind of a deli souvenir shop, sort of a takeoff on uh, Hard Rock Cafe. Right across from it is this major construction project. The lights are long in Vegas. time to appreciate the scenery. Caesar's Palace. Here's your Eiffel Tower. Barbary Crow Coast, Red Flamingo, and the Strip.
Margaritaville. There's Caesars. It's the big sign. The entire complex spreads out. Planet Hollywood. There's the fountain and the forum shop. This is Harrah's. This is Harrah's. You can barely see it. And Treasure Island. piece of the forum shops there. You can see the Mirage here. Really well. They have the water feature. So Coming up on Wynn and the Venetian, right across from Treasure Island. There's something new coming up and back there. Buccaneer Boulevard, probably for Treasure Island. There's Wynn, which was new thing until it looks like somebody's blocking his view now. Oh, that's not good. After the win, you have Fashion Show Mall, Neiman Marcus. That sort of flying saucer thing there, that's a shopping mall. There's a Starbucks there and some pretty high-end shops. We're getting now into the older section of Vegas, the Strip. The Frontier is coming up, one of the older casinos still standing. <clears throat> May not be standing, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Stardust is, I think, being demolished. Plenty of time to enjoy the scenery. This to be done in real time so there'll be no cutaways to give a true sense of what it's like to drive the strip. This is the Sands Street Avenue. The Sands of course no longer exists. There's your frontier. It still seems to be operating. Back of that, the Stardust. I have no idea if they're still in business. I think they may be torn down or closed very soon. More construction. Encore at Wind of the Las Vegas. So it's an ex extension of the. Wind Casino. Now 
it's sort of lightening up out here. Getting into the older part of town. More souvenir stands and beer and wine stores. This is Convention Center. Walgreens. A little farewell note from the Stardust. Thank you for wonderful years, 1958 to 2006. Definitely a 50s style casino, of which there are not many left. You can see some of the construction debris over there. Circus Circus is still up. There it is. It's probably due for a renovation or a tear down. Vegas Boulevard and Convention Center. Sort of the dividing line between the old strip and the new strip, if you will. You get places like Ross, Dress for Less, Denny's. Starting to advertise the Gold Nugget here. Here's the Riviera, another blast from the past. I think that's condos coming up there next to the stratosphere. There's your circus circus sign, famous circus circus sign. The El Rancho. Sahara, which I always consider sort of the last casino going towards town of the old section. A lot of construction and more in the condos area here, you can see. I think that people are going to want to live on the Strip. So they're doing sort of a Miami thing here with condos just off the Strip now. Here's the Sahara. I've always liked the Moorish Islamic architecture. Although nowadays that's probably not very popular. Another condo complex I think coming up. The idea is that uh, people will live or want to live on the strip or that I guess corporations will buy a condo and just use it as tax write-off. There's a whole vacant lot here that's going to be something big coming up there. It's one thing you always are for sure in Vegas is that when you see a vacant lot, something's up. Here's the old general store. Been there for years. Probably worth more for the land than for the business. Sahara. Stratosphere, which is kind of out of place, a little too close to downtown. And here's your kind of 50s motels, you know, Fun City Motel, Holiday House, Holiday Motel. This is where you have your um, marriage chapels, wedding chapels. base of the stratosphere. Now the 
stratosphere does seem to be sort of the uh, drop dead last stop on the strip before you get into the town portion, which then ends in Fremont Street, which is the original Vegas. Company. They can afford business on the strip. Now this starts to look just like a regular town. You got you know Carl's Juniors, Denny's, check cashing service. Here's where this Vegas strip sort of becomes just any old commercial strip on any American highway. The Rummel Motel, Adult Movies, Oasis Motel, the Yucca Motel, Little Chapel of the Flowers. Here's the Little White, Little Chapel of the Flowers. 7-Eleven, Pumps Gas, Red Oakley. Oakley. Place that's closed up, discount market. Oki is a, a good towny street. It goes further than just crossing the strip. It has plenty of uh, significance for the local businesses. that ordinary people use east and west. Charleston is a major street. It's sort of a baseline from which the old um, road structure was um, turned back to a north and south, east and west structure. The original Vegas was sort of built on a 45, a little town. That's sort of how Fremont and Vegas Boulevard got cockeyed to a north-south-east-west axis. It's because they were really streets from the old town. Well, there's downtown, you can see it down there, those bigger buildings. That would be places like the Four Queens, the Gold Nugget, Binion's, some of your lesser casinos, California Casino, Golden Slipper. Gold Nugget is probably the premier casino of downtown, which is now covered up with a, a dome that has sort of a movie in it at night, every hour. Bail Bonds, 
Bonneville Road. Bonneville actually goes, Bonneville actually goes pretty far in Vegas. It's kind of a major street. This is more or less your judicial center. There's Fitzgerald's, big F for Fitzgerald's Casino. Bridger, another wedding chapel, Villa Inn Motel, very nice 50 style motel, the dying breed. This is the north, the uh, not northern but the southern end of Fremont Street coming up and this is Fremont Street here. It kind of ends at Vegas Boulevard, and the real action all goes down into the into the um, downtown area, which is all tore up. As is Fremont Street, so I'm going to have to go around here to get back on. They're really tearing up Fremont Street now, so I'm going beyond Fremont to Ogden. And since I want to head towards Boulder Dam, I'll go down Ogden for a while and get out of this construction and then um, sort of dog leg over and this is the detour for Fremont. Some happy construction workers. This is your downtown. the El Cortez. Okay, getting on the El Cortez from the back side. That's the seedy place downtown. Seventh. Detour says turn here, so maybe I'll just follow it and see what happens. I hope it was meant to detour for Fremont Street. That's really what I want. Looks like it. <laughs> 